Hello Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly love reading for June 2023. Um, before I start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. For those of you who've liked, shared and commented, thank you all so much. And for those of you who would like to book private readings with me, please do check my about page. All the information you need is there, including my new website link. And once I hear from you, I will get back to you. And of course, yes, um, we've got our Oracle deck here for the main uh, energy or what you need to pay attention to. And we've got the Tarot deck for the main message. So let's see um, how the universe wants things to pan out for you, Leo. Let's see what's the main things you need to pay attention to. Okay. I feel we'll go for that one. We will go for that one. Tarot and Universe, please tell us what is coming for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for their love life in the month of June. Okay. So now we're going to pick one for either your home environment or the people around you in your surroundings, okay? Um, I feel that's what we want to do this month. And of course, we've got a Ten of Swords as the bottom of the deck. So we've got building blocks, yeah? And yes, we've got... For your home environment, you've got the Empress. So that is oh, good. We've got the King of Pentacles reversed. The Hermit reversed. And Nine of Cups reversed. Now, this is interesting, Leo. Very, very interesting. Okay, so you've got the building blocks. And the Ten of Swords here. In terms of your love life, I feel that um, some of you, okay, in June, I feel certain ways that you have been thinking about your love life, okay, is going to is going to end. It's coming to an end. A lot of situations some type of situations you know like all the drama everything whatever in june in terms of your love life you know i feel you are going to let all the situation or all the drama in your love life that you know has been building up you are going to let it go you are going to let that go whether you are coupled or singled I feel here that, you know, anything that is is not working for you in terms of your love life, you're going to change that way of thinking, okay? You're going to change that way of thinking and you are going to have new foundation for what you believe in terms of love because you are going to do things differently. This is two and eight comes to a 10. So it means you are starting something new that is going to be more concrete for you in terms of your love life okay and for yeah that's that's how i'm seeing it that's how i'm seeing it. i mean whether you are in a relationship or not you will come to that conclusion certain things in your love life or certain ideas you have about love it doesn't work for you anymore and in june you are going to make that decision to to let that go and of course we've got the um uh, king of pentacles here and King of Pentacles here in particular, I feel this is you wanting to spend some money on yourself and um, making sure you feel good. I feel this is all about you spending money on yourself and making sure you look the way you want. You are going to be eating well or you may eat more than you should. But I feel overall, um, Leo, I feel this is you spending money on yourself and spoiling yourself rotten. That is how I'm seeing it. Because you want the person that you, you are in a relationship to see you as attractive. And I feel you will go to the extent, every extent financially 
to make sure that you know you are physically attractive and you are feeling good about yourself that's how i feel this king of pentacles is here for you in the in, in the month of june and here we've got the hermit you coming out of your um, comfort zone okay i feel you coming out of your comfort zone coming out of your shell and making sure that the person that um you you want to you know enjoy your love life with is really experiencing um they, they are seeing you in a different light that's how i'm seeing it here they will see you in a different light they are going to enjoy having you um in in their presence all the time because you know there's going to be a lot of fun because after you have um you have allowed this situation to go this old way of thinking in terms of your love life you know this is you coming up out of your shell and like yeah i'm going to put all these things aside and i'm going to have fun in june in terms of my love life and yes i feel that yeah for some of you um your 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 ego okay you are going to feel so much in love and your love life is going to go so well to the point that you know the universe wants to tell you um don't overdo it or else um you may come across as um you know your your confidence your confidence may come across as if you are not appreciative of what you've got in terms of your love life okay but i feel that is not it that is i feel that um you are going to be so happy that to the point that you you are going to let everyone know how happy you are but some people are not going to see it that way okay so i feel this is more of a warning card for you and in terms of your home life i feel like yes um you are going to feel fulfilled your home life itself is going to be um very very it's going to look beautiful okay i feel in um june you're going to do everything in terms of your love life okay because this is literally venus and so you are going to do everything to enjoy love life in your home living you are going to spoil that's how i see you are going to spoil yourself okay this is you spoiling yourself and enjoying life and you know fixing everything practically about yourself this that yeah that's how i see it leo i don't see it as a negative thing with this reverse here yeah? so i feel your love life is looking well and your home is is going to be very very beautiful for you to you know live in so yes um i hope this has been insightful for you i'll leave the reading here i'll see you next time or you will see me next time